Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the XOR function in Excel. This is a newer function that's available in Office 365 and there's a slight difference between it and the OR function. So I want to show you the differences between them and how maybe you'd want to use the XOR function. So let's take a look at that function in Excel. The primary difference between the OR function and the XOR function is the OR function in Excel is an inclusive OR, which means if you have two or more arguments, as long as one of them is true, then you get a true. Even if you have 10 arguments, as long as one is true, you will get a true. With the XOR function, that's called an exclusive OR. So the main example is if you have two arguments if one is true you will get a true if neither is true you'll get a false but if both are true you will also get a false you want an exclusive or meaning only one of them would be true in order to have the result be a true so a common example might be something like I'm going to go out to dinner at a restaurant. I can go to either restaurant A or restaurant B. I can't go to both. If I went to both, that would be a false. I can only go to one or the other. It has to be exclusive. And so therefore, when you have only one of them is true, then you get a true. Interestingly though, when you have three or more arguments with the XOR function, if an odd number are true, then you get a true. If an even number are true, then you get a false. So here's an example of that. Here I have four locations, their sales, and what their targets are. And in column F, I just have a simple formula that says, is B, their sales, greater than E, their target? And notice here, in every case, they are true. So in column I, I have some XOR functions here. And in cell I4, here we have an example where we're looking at two arguments. Is B2 greater than E2 and is B3 greater than E3? Since both are true, I get a false because with two arguments, if only one is true, I'll get a true. But if neither are true or if both are true, I'll get a false. Here I have three arguments, B2 is greater than E2, B3 greater than E3, B4 greater than E4. And again, since there is an odd number and they are all true, therefore I get a true. And finally, in cell I6, I'm looking at four arguments, B2 greater than E2, 3 greater than E3, 4 and 5, etc. And again, since all are true, and that's an even number, if you have an even number that are true, then you're going to get a false. So really the main reason you would use the XOR function is when you have two arguments and you want to ensure that only one of them is true in order to generate a true. And that's how you use the XOR function in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy excelling.